What's up everybody? In this video I'm going to show you how to get Skyrim for free. You're going to have to use a torrent because it's uh, it's pretty simple first of all and it's a lot faster. Um, so the things you're going to need are a virtual drive such as a magic disk which I can't show you because my Windows 8 will not run it for some reason and uh, <clears throat> just I'm pretty sure any uh, virtual drive would work but uh, I can show you everything else so let's get started for the torrent that I'm using is uh, uTorrent it's a really fast download and uh, all you want to do is make sure you don't accept any of the stupid toolbars because they're just annoying so anyway um, it's a really fast download and once it's done it's just a quick standard uh, install um, I don't know if that happened because I've already got it installed but I don't think it's going to run the installation. Um, you can probably handle that yourself, though. You're a big boy. <clears throat> but, uh, so yeah. The next thing we're going to do is uh, grab the torrent file. And uh, I will have a link for uTorrent and this file in the description. So uh, all you have to do is um, click download torrent. And it should come down here as a uTorrent file. If it's not a uTorrent file, you can uh, go to wherever uh, you downloaded it to and you can just right click it and hit open with and you'd use uh, uTorrent as the program to open that kind of file with. So uh, once you have that you can just uh, hit um, you can hit it down there and then it'll ask you if you want to download it. You just say yes, I'm just going to say no because I've already got it. And uh, it should take a few hours depending on your computer and uh, internet speed. And uh, once it's done, it should have this name, RZR SKRM. That stands for Razer Skyrim. And Razer is our uh, is our publisher. Um, it'll a lot of torrents that you get will say that it's, it could be a harmful file <coughs> file, but it's not. It's uh, just most torrents do that. So this right here is called an ISO file. And this is what you need your virtual drive for. Um, I can't use Magic Disk or any other ones, but my Windows 8 did come with one, so all I have to do is hit Mount as Virtual Drive, and it'll ask me which one I want to mount it as. I'm just gonna make it whatever default one it mounts it for. And uh, what that means is it pretty much gave you a CD drive right here. And once you have that CD drive, you just uh, open it or double click for install and uh, you just install it like a regular game uh, it'll freeze about <clears throat> about a quarter of the way through um, I thought that was a problem but it wasn't so once you've got that downloaded you'll wanna sorry you wanna open up the the CD-ROM and you'll need to find the file that says Razer 1911 um, this is uh, the crack folder it'll either say crack or the publisher that you downloaded it from so you just need to open that and you need to select everything in it, copy it, and then you need to find the directory for the Skyrim folder. Here's mine. And uh, once you have that, you're just going to want to paste it in there. You're going to want to replace all the files in the destination and just continue. Once that's done, <clears throat> you're going to want to go to your desktop and uh, get rid of whatever the uh, get rid of the icon it gave you when you installed it and you want to take uh, this uh, this file called the Skyrim launcher and you can't copy and paste it so you have to create a shortcut in order to make it to your desktop and then I'm gonna rename it real fast Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry. So yeah, once that's done, uh, you you should be able to close out of everything you don't need and double click it. And this is the launcher. You uh, want to go to options and uh, optimize your settings. And once that's done, you can open up the game. Alright, so I hope this works for you guys, 
and I hope you guys liked it. If you did like it, please thumbs up and share this with your friends. If you didn't like it, go ahead and leave me a hate comment. Thanks for watching, guys.